European citizens have long been concerned about the kind of chemicals sprayed on the crops we eat. Well, this week the Environment Committee of the European Parliament voted for tougher rules to control the use of pesticides. Thomas Bickle has this report. For the moment, every country in the EU has its own rules for the registration and use of plant protection products, or pesticides. Substances that can be used in one country are ruled out in another. This means that health standards are different. Also, there is no real EU market for plant protection products. Now, the Environment Committee of the European Parliament has stepped in. Christa Klaas, a member of the EPPED group, explains what is likely to change in the future. We are going to have common standards throughout Europe for the protection of consumers at a high level. The legislation also foresees harmonized rules for the registration of substances so that it makes no difference whether you use a product in Estonia or in Portugal. Lastly, if there is scientific evidence that a pesticide may be carcinogenic or could alter DNA, it will be prohibited. In the vote on Wednesday, the centre-right EPPD group supported a joint EU framework for the use of pesticides. The main aims were to secure the highest possible health standards and also a level playing field for producers throughout Europe. The group, however, still has reservations on two aspects of the legislation. The definitions of the highly toxic substances which are supposed to be ruled out are not yet precise enough. In particular, the requirements for scientific evidence are too vague. Secondly, a general 50% reduction in the use of pesticides is impractical, as it can hardly be measured. We need improvements on these two points to make the legislation work. Plant protection products are an important part of the European chemicals business. A common set of rules throughout the EU creates a real single market for industry. Although they face serious restrictions, producers can take the chance to develop more environmentally friendly substances. This may also open up market opportunities outside Europe. The legislation now goes back to the ministers of the 27 EU governments. They may introduce some small changes, but will have to reach a compromise on the final wording with the European Parliament. This is expected to happen before the end of the year. This programme was brought to you by the press service of the EPPED Group, the largest political group in the European Parliament. For more information on our policies, log on to our website, epp-ed.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Thank you.